Hello, Matthias Dahlborn from TAF Architecture, a Swedish um, design studio and architecture studio. Um, you made this new pendant light for, um, for the Swedish manufacturer Zero. Can you explain us shortly what was the idea behind it and how did the shape come to your mind? Uh, we, we sat at the office and we had lots of uh, uh, stuff at our desks, like uh, rubber bands, for example. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and we just took them and stretched them like that and thought that could be an interesting method to, to, to use. Uh, so, so we actually stretched the rubber band, translated it into metal and, and made this uh, lamp collection. And this is one of the pieces, the longest stretch actually. Uh, we also did um, this one behind, uh, which is also the same curve. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's the stretch from the finger. Does that happen to you often that the shapes uh, come to your mind by accident? Just by seeing something and then manipulating it and then you, you come. Is that an intuitive action? Um, yeah, you can say that, but it's not like by accident. I think it's more like uh, that we work with references all the time and, and we really like to change and play with the context and, and find, find uh, uh, new, uh, to put uh, refer uh, a reference from, from an object that you don't think is it's like the object that it's going to be, if you know what I mean. So in this case, like a rubber band, it's uh, like a very common object, but translated into this uh, lamp, it becomes something new. And, and how exactly is it built up then? You transferred it into a metal shape, it's yeah. sheet metal? Then? Yeah, then it's really simple. Then we just uh, took the curves from an image, uh, like calculate them, like copy, uh, copy the curves, and then, uh, then translate it into aluminum. Uh -huh. So. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.